Okay, so um, just so everybody knows, this is not a how-to video. We are very new at this. This is more of an inspiration for people to get out and try it and learn it. Um, this is what our bees look like on our Apame landing board here. To be honest with you, I'm so new, I don't know if they're behaving correctly or not, but... It seems to me like they're doing bee things. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open up the top. Removing the lid. Oh, quite a few dead bees. Looks like a roach. Yeah, you got a little roach over here too, it looks like, right there, see? Mm hmm That, there, here's one too. Mm hmm We don't need them in there. Maggots. Ooh. You gotta take the feeder out, huh? I don't know what maggots. I don't know if you're seeing this, so I'm gonna put the camera really close. I see one down in the food too. We had contemplated before getting out here of removing the feeders. pollen feeders because uh, they're able to get their own pollen right now and we just wanted to get them started. So we may not put these items back on top and by the amount of dead bees that we're getting and the roaches, I'm thinking that might be a wise decision. So we may not be adding these feeders back on. They're a little, a little stuck. Hear that sound and I always smell the pretty flowers when opening and it, yeah, it looks like we got hives stuck together again. Bees are all agitated, huh? Maybe because of the roaches too, I don't know. So I'm thinking we're going to leave these off entirely for now. Yeah, let me, let me brush the bees off of it. I'll take that from you. Okay. Maybe we'll scrape the pollen somewhere else off. And he seems to be stuck. He's dead. He we'll take care of that later. Bit. Okay, they're off. Let me have that thing there. Let me have it. You can work on the other one. Well, there's all that's the stuff. All right. That's all right. See there, folks, that's what I mean. We're not professionals. We just drop the goods all over the ground. We're probably going to wind up attracting everything under the sun to that spot. Yeah, we can clean it up here a little bit, too, and take it with us. So we're going to have to ask Google about the maggots. That looks like a, a dead beetle there, which I'm glad he's dead, but I'm hoping we're not going to find more insects in here than bees. Okay, so I'm going to remove the uh, separator.
All right, so here's the first frame. Well, that looks like a good deal of honey to me and pollen, possibly. We use a hive tool a little bit. We got a little bit of stuff stuck together here. I do believe we're seeing lots of brood cells there. Want to see, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Did have a little piece fall to the bottom, but I think I'm gonna leave it there. You wanna leave that there? Make yeah, that or either that or I'll bring it to the top and sit it up here because we're gonna remove the feeders. Where do you wanna put it at? I'll just put it on the top. They can scavenge for whatever they need off of there, I guess. I even got a little bit of honey on my spatula. Mm -hmm. I'll get rid of this. All right, I hate doing this, but I don't know what else to do in order to move the frames. Mm -hmm. We're looking really good. That's a nice piece of honey up here. I could smell it. it. Smells so flowery. You see any little like white eggs in there anywhere? No, the bottoms are dark. But these are like little combed over guys here. yeah oh, so would, those would be babies i think I but up here at the top know. you can see the honey yep. okay so you can see babies in here and you see uh in them holes there the larva yeah these little little lavas yeah yeah i think yeah, up here towards the I know the top. these guys comb it back over there, then they eat their way out when they yeah. hatch out, do they not? It's a little white down yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. Different stages. Let's look stages. for little white tails, I thought, ain't we, or something? I'm not sure, darling. Well, you could tell when the light hits right, too. Some of that has got sort of browsing over looking for a queen in this, too. I'm thinking so far, I'm pretty happy that I think everything looks... Except for the beetles and the little little maggots you had in the feeder. Mm -hmm. you know? Let me uh, let me scoot these for you. you can keep doing your thing. I'm gonna get these as far forward as we can get them so we can get another one on. Or maybe two on here, I don't know. Okay, let me look at this one a second. See, I don't know because this one isn't as filled out as much. Smash them. Mm -hmm. 
Boy, they built that really weird. You seen any weird insects though on this stuff? Just, not just their bees, right? Not yet, not yet. I wanna. I don't wanna see no beetles on there or nothing, or the little, uh, little white things on there. No, what's well, with that comb? That's really weird. That is strange, isn't it? But it is like a double layer comb, so I don't know if that's normal or not. This over here is different colors of pollen, but that right there is a little strange. Hopefully that's okay. They haven't started building anything here. It seems like they're thinking about it though because they're really busy. On, oh, on that side. We've got lots of larvae going on. All the bees left this. I'm going to take that out of the equation. So I think that's looking good. I'm just going to check these frames to make sure we don't have any hidden insect. Being as we've seen roaches and maggots and stuff, I want to make sure there ain't nothing hiding in here. Yeah, I assume that's something that the bee puts in, that gray stuff. I don't know. Okay. So you think by taking the food out, we might eliminate the, some of the beetles and some of the ants or whatever? I'm guessing. I'm guessing right now there should be flowers. I would imagine for them to eat and so forth. Hope that little bee didn't get. Well, he's already gone. It looks like. This little guy. Hmm. No, he might be all right. He was just kind of stuck there, you know. Mm -hmm. It's hard not getting any of the little guys trying to put all the stuff back together. I without, assure you. Without smashing anybody. And I got a little <laughs> guy on my shirt. Yeah, they can land on you. They're not. They're not bothering you as long as you're not really messing what with them. What do we got? What's this red thing down here? Is that? I don't know. That's part. That's part. That's part of your outside of your frame, but I don't know what it does. All right. <laughs> you know. All right, so we'll slowly put this Are guy these... back together. Maybe if you got the brush and brush the edges right here as they drop them yes, down. Yes, that'd be a good idea. I'm just trying to get. We'll them all... do that last. I'm trying to get them all slid back. They got a bump. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that we can get them all in. Without hurt anybody. I mean, it happens. This is sticky. See. I know. These little guys are sticking to it. Everything's sticky. Hot, sweet, and sticky. Yeah, that's good. I mean, these are these two are the I don't know. I hope the queen's okay. I'm gonna look at yeah. Uh, the queen you would think would be in like one of these main structures, but maybe not. You know. Well, they got a lot of. Well, there's babies. So, uh, with babies, I would assume that there's a queen somewhere. I would think so too. Maybe she's in here. Well, we had a queen in here. We just hope she's still all right. 
because we don't know. They say sometimes the queens get killed by. Like, hive. what's with that dude? Did he fall asleep drinking his honey in the middle there? Or no, he's no, coming. He's still. I don't know what they do, Dylan. <laughs> no. Asking the wrong guy. Yeah, I bet the queen's in that comb somewhere being fed honey. Now, now, uh, move. Yeah, the, the weight is like to that side, so. I'll put them down slowly but surely. Watch over here. Oh, he's out. Yeah, I hate the way they keep trying to build like a double comb over here, but I don't really know what to do about that. Well, I build one. It's just off your. Uh, it looks yeah. Like two, but. Well, I had to sort of cut it with the thing. Let's look at this again while we got it. This one has a lot less activity. I guess is that this to me looks more like pollen possibly than brood. Right. Holland's supposed to be yellow, so I don't think so. I don't know that for sure. I don't I know either. Brood. This really dark stuff. I don't know. It, well, yeah, it's hard to tell. I always thought pollen was yellow color in uh, things from what we've watched. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should put it back. I hear a, a hawk in the distance crying. Again. Hey, you got some good little bees. They don't sting you or anything like that. I just gotta be. I feel one crawling on my neck show right them now. Affection, I guess, like you would another animal, a living animal. Yeah, I got one on my neck. Insect, otherwise. All right, so I'm getting a bunch of crowders there. Okay. So we need the uh, spacers, I guess. Hang on, let me get him out of there. Yep, he's There he goes, done. keep going, at least the one I was looking at. Okay. <laughs> get out of there, bud. And then we'll try it over here. Mm -hmm. You're getting them set back up sometimes a little. Yeah, probably pushing together too much. You know? Mm -hmm. There we go. How are you doing? Okay, little bees, we're going to try you without food and see how you do. Gotta get out of there, dude. I'm going to put the lid on. Goes that way, yep. I guess 
actually use the top one now, don't we? I guess so. We do use that second row. We use the top one now to put off the feeder on. Okay. All right, so I'm going to look in the bottom drawer while we're inspecting because we've seen those maggots and roaches and I'm just curious. I have put diatomaceous earth in here and it looks strange down here. Oh, there's actually honey leaking down here. There's a maggot. I think that um and you some diamaceous earth and put in there. I think that's what we're gonna do, yeah. We'll put more and put in your red bucket, right? Yeah. Can we get some? Sure. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with these maggots. I'm not liking it though. Maybe it's a good sign that the bees are kicking them out. I'm going to go ahead and just knock this up against the tree. All right, well, I'm waiting for my husband to come back with the DE. I'm going to show you our little, uh, we bring over a pail of water. And I had a friend that made up these beautiful little hand-painted rocks. And we sort of made a little, uh, decided to put them to use to make a little bee landings for the bees in case they needed water over here. Don't know if it's proper or not, but I think the little rocks are beautiful and uh, this way they serve a purpose. I get to look at them more often. I think that I'm going to go ahead and shut this video down to not bore you to death. My husband's basically going to come back with a cup of this DE powder, diatomaceous earth, and we're going to sprinkle it on the bottom. Um, if there's more we should be doing or you have any ideas what kind of um, maggots we're seeing here, um, please let us know. And again, this is not a how-to video because we don't know what we're doing. This is more of an encouragement for you to uh, to try. You learn as you go. You don't learn until you make mistakes. And I guess that's um, giving you worst case scenario. Don't learn something until you try it. Well, that's all. Bye.